welcome to the 24 UK podcast. We are in, here in LA today uh, in the presence of one Jordan Marder. Thanks for coming on the show, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Jordan, uh, you might not recognise from 24, but he will be appearing in a few episodes upcoming in season 8 shortly. Um, we're going to find a little bit about his experiences on 24, what he enjoyed, what perhaps he didn't enjoy, and maybe uh, gleam a few bits of information about his character if we're lucky. Right. Um, so, welcome aboard, Jordan, and uh, we're going to get ready for us to grill you. <laughs> Let's do it. Right. Okay, so we know you play a Russian terrorist, Dimitri, is that right? That is correct. Okay, we know you have a run-in, potentially, with Jack Bauer. Yeah, terrorist may be the wrong word. I think it's more like enforcer. Enforcer. Because uh, I'm not out to terrorize anybody. I'm I think he's misunderstood, to get the job done. Yes, <laughs> I'm out to get the job done. You know, right. Fairly simple. So, if you ha- and you do have a run-in with Jack Bauer. I do. So are we jumping the gun to say and to ask you what your death scene is going to be like? <laughs> uh, who says I die? <laughs> um, yes, you're jumping the gun. We are. Because, uh, uh, I, I honestly can't tell you what happens. No, All funny. I can tell you is that we do have a run-in. And, you know, that's kind of rare for uh, the bad guys to have a run-in with Jack. An actual physical confrontation. So sure. it's, yeah. it's pretty gruesome. And I think it'll be exciting. For anybody who's wanted to see Jack on the other end. Excellent stuff. Excellent. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so how did you get your role on 24? How did it come back? Um, well, like most roles in Los Angeles, you get a call. And you go in. They asked you to audition. That's kind of the way it goes. So I went in and auditioned and got the job. So did you know what sort of pie it was beforehand? I did. You yeah, get some you, sort of brief. Yeah, you get a brief, like a breakdown. And you get several days or sometimes just a day to prepare. Right. And then you go in and do your thing. Were you a fan of the show before? Uh, I'm a fan of the show, but I've never seen it. Really? Yeah. Right. Never seen a single episode I've Never before. seen a single episode. The first one I saw was the pilot this year, and uh, I thought it was a great show. Thanks. So, uh, did you, were you aware the show was quite popular? It, was, it had got a lot of respect out there, that sort of thing? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, what are your thoughts on how this season's going to go? I mean, obviously you've seen the pilot, you've seen the first couple of episodes, and, and obviously you're in a few episodes coming up. Do you get a feeling from being on set and acting that this is going to be one of the better seasons, or you know, can you not really tell since you've not perhaps seen some of the previous ones? Well, I'm not knocking any of the cast in the past, because I don't know them personally, and I didn't see the show, but when I looked at the cast list and when I saw who was in the season... Immediately the names stand out. They're just quality caliber actors. And when you have a show filled with actors of that caliber, you know, it's going to be a good show. It's going to crackle. You know? Yeah. So you play the character of Dimitri. Yes. Um, without giving too much away, what can we expect from your character? Uh, I play a character... Dimitri is a, like a, a, a Russian, uh, for lack of a better word, surgeon with his <laughs> skills as a killer. That sounds interesting. Uh, you know, very, uh, uh, very deliberate, very precise, and uh, really uh, almost on the sociopathic scale. Right. So he could be a big challenge for someone like Jack Bauer. Yes. Yeah. I think just because Dimitri uh, doesn't feel guilt or shame or... You know, any kind of emotion that would get in the way of him completing his mission or doing his job for the Godfather. Yeah. I mean, imagine, uh, you know, Marlon Brando telling his conciliary to go do something. It's like, done. Put a horse's head in the bed of a movie done. director, for example. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which I had to use, but I used a hamburger meat. So how do you prepare for a role like that? Because being obviously someone who I'm assuming is not that much like yourself, well, yeah. you know, cold-hearted, emotionless, so, right. so, sociopathic or, or whatever, that, that must be quite hard to prepare for. It is. Uh, I, I wouldn't say hard. It's challenging. Um, really, just to simplify everything for whoever's watching, um, acting is, is, is like playing cowboys and Indians. And right. the great thing about 24 is you're a cowboy with really great guns. Mm. You know, <laughs> you've got machine guns, you know, you've got the equipment, and it's, it's kind of like being a kid again, yeah. to be honest. Great stuff. What differences did you experience filming 24 as opposed to filming maybe other TV shows or films that you've been in? And in fact, you might like to give us an idea of some of the other stuff you've, you've, you've done and been involved in. Um, I, I've been an actor since I'm seven. 
So I have a whole string of stuff I did on television and on Broadway when I was a child. And then I went away to study in London. When I came back, I started doing feature work out in Los Angeles. Films like American History X, LA Confidential, uh, Lord of Illusions, Clyde Barker movie. And um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I found this to be challenging in one way, but very easy in another way. The, I'll go start with the, with the easy part. The easy part is that this is in its eighth season, this show. And when a show is in its eighth season, it, it runs like clockwork. Everybody knows their job, the actors know who they're supposed to be, and it moves fast, and you're not around forever, you don't have to wait forever. And there's no questions about story, which is really helpful. The challenging part is, <laughs> Eastern European is kind of the generic uh, casting call for this character, so you, I had to come up with a, with a dialect mm. for Eastern European. I chose Russian. And then on top of that, you know, if uh, you can pull off the, uh, the Russian dialect, the writers assume you can speak the language. And so they begin to write in the language that you're oh, supposed right. to represent. Right, okay. So for myself, speaking Russian was incredibly challenging. I don't speak a word of it. So that was the most challenging part. Could you, could you give us a little bit of Russian now? I can't remember a single one. <laughs> I'm totally honest with you. Do you, get, can, do you get kind of a vocal training on that, or is it literally down to you to come up with the goods? Well, you, you do get an on-set dialect coach if necessary, and I personally use every resource that's provided, and it's extremely helpful. And you want someone who's watching it in Russia to listen to it and go, oh, that, that sounds authentic. Mm, yeah. Can't figure out what province he's from, mm. you know, but I'll buy it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what was uh, your first day on set like? Uh, my first day on set was actually quite easy. You know, um, Since you're joining a, ca a cast and a show already in production, you kind of, they just kind of like filter you in. And uh, you're always... Uh, the demands can be tough. You know, sometimes you have to do huge scenes first, and then you know, you're, you know, the smaller scenes where you're walking you know, down a hallway, those come later. You know? So right. usually... You just got to be ready for anything. You get what you're supposed to be prepared for, and you do your homework. And when you arrive on set, everything should be there, you know. And if it's not, you have a director to help you and other actors to go, hey, you know, this is the tone of the show. Let's, let's move it this direction. Were there any other actors or cast and crew there that you know or you'd worked with previously? Any familiar faces at all? Yeah, well, familiar faces, you know, men and women who've been on television, uh, large series, uh, Jürgen Prochnow, who plays The Godfather. Mm -hmm. right. uh, he is one of my favorite all-time actors. I don't know if you've seen Das Boot, but... Uh, das I'm Boot, aware of that. not seen it, though, unfortunately. Yeah. He's the lead in that. He plays the sub-captain, mm -hmm. submarine captain, and he's incredible. So getting the chance to work with actors like that on television is just it's a delight. You know? mm. um, how did you find the real-time aspect of the show? Did that make any difference at all? None at all. No. That's a, the, that's a directorial aspect. Mm. It has really nothing to do with me, except what it does is it makes you realize as a human being that this is happening now. Um, so the energy kind of goes up just a notch. Right. You know, it's like we have a minute to do this because it's a real minute. Yeah. So there is a sort of subconscious. Uh, I think there is. Yeah. yeah. But it's not something you take on and change your performance to accommodate. 